I would like to introduce this doctor's man developed scientific evidence-based hydrogen inhaler before introducing products i would like to explain the current hydrogen research the hydrogen inhalation method of Keio university school of medicine was approved as an advanced medical treatment B by the Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare in 2016. In 2017, Keio University School of Medicine set up the Center for Molecular Hydrogen Medicine. So far, more than 2,000 medical papers on hydrogen have been released, and it is an academically established field. In particular, hydrogen is being used to treat coronavirus. Next, I would like to introduce Doctor's Man Development Policy. One of the most important points during development is that the product is based on EBMEM scientific evidence. Currently, there are many hydrogen inhalation devices on the market, however, each maker's device differs in the amount of hydrogen generated, and the ratio of hydrogen in the gas. And what's the best method to inhale hydrogen? Should I inhale by a cannula through nose, or should I inhale by a mask through mouth? Moreover, can the field of therapeutic and prevention be the same in the use of hydrogen? We will not put the product on the market before clearing up these questions. Dr. Zman has found the answer in the results of joint research with Keio Universities, the Center for Molecular Hydrogen Medicine and in more than 2,000 papers. The most important thing is that the hydrogen concentration in the blood is at an appropriate level that has demonstrated therapeutic efficacy. Large amount of hydrogen generation doesn't mean it's better. If it's not at the appropriate level where the therapeutic effect has been proven, the effect will be decreasing. A proper level of hydrogen concentration in the blood is very important. The joint research by Doctors Men and Keio University's The Center for Molecular Hydrogen Medicine has proven it. The experiment research was released in 2020 as the world's first paper. Secondly, to remove oxygen that damages the lungs as much as possible. People with lung disease and healthy people should have different intake methods of hydrogen and oxygen from the point of view of therapeutics and prevention. Summarizing these based on scientific evidence, the appropriate amount of hydrogen generated that dissolves in blood is 250 milliliters per minute with 100% hydrogen gas. Next, as for inhalation method, Healthy people inhale 100% hydrogen gas with a nasal cannula. Patients with pulmonary disease should inhale 100% hydrogen gas through a nasal cannula while wearing an oxygen mask. This can secure oxygen control and well-balance blood hydrogen concentration in the medical field. Hydrogen is not a medical gas yet, however the quality of products developed must be based on the future use in the medical field. One of them is the purity of hydrogen. Importantly, the inhaled hydrogen does not contain toxic substances. 
The purity of doctor's men inhaler can ensure more than 99.999%. The second is overwhelming durability, which it can continually work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Its durability is designed for impatients to continuously use on the hospital bed. And finally, the heart of the hydrogen generation. The electrolysis cell must have an excellent service life. Dr. Smen has achieved a service life 50,000 hours, far exceeding that of other companies. 